subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hi viewers i'm dr sanjeev p sahani presenting to you another video as part of our explainer series today we will be discussing about psychedelic drugs and their use psychedelics or psychedelic drugs also referred to as hallucinogens includes a wide range of substances that significantly alter the conscious states of the user these drugs trigger unknown or unusual states of consciousness research suggests these drugs affect the prefrontal cortex of the brain and the serotonin receptors which leads to an increased activity between the regions in the brain especially the circuits involved in sensory perception and cognition this often leads to the varied forms of hallucinations mainly auditory visual or physiological where people on psychedelics are able to experience things that are not actually present or happening in reality these substances have existed in the nature for centuries however initially they were mostly used in religious practices and rituals now these drugs are used in a different spheres of life psychedelics or psychedelic experiences which are often referred as trips are known to produce life altering experiences for people hallucinogens are found to produce different trips and the possibilities of experiencing positive trips for extremely rich variety of states of consciousness is one of the major reason for their popularity however it should be noted that there exists a wide variety of psychedelics where it is not known what kind of hallucinations they are capable of producing scientific studies on psychedelics have shown that these substances are not addictive like other drugs and are safe as well under certain controlled environments in fact studies also show that how psychedelics might have the anti addictive potential psychedelics caught major attention during the 1940s and 50s and were also a major part of psychiatric studies in the united states and europe however due to some unethical practices research on psychedelics its effect on different types of people under different types of circumstances came to a halt many psychedelic drugs are actually illegal worldwide with exceptions of occasional religious uses for research purposes interestingly despite these restrictions recreational use of these drugs is fairly commonplace culturally there exist some famous psychedelics and even psychedelic art music and festivals are prevalent all over the world however the legal barriers make it difficult to conduct research studies and explore the nature of potential of these drugs as early research highlights that psychedelics might be useful for treating some form of psychopathology psychedelics can be categorized in two forms natural and synthetic as the name suggests natural psychedelics are those substances that are often found raw or grown in nature whereas synthetic 
आर दी वंस केमिकली मैन्युफैक्चर्ड इन द लेबोरेटरीज बोथ टाइप्स आर माइंड कॉन्शियसनेस ऑल्टरिंग ट्रक्स सेल्विया क्रैटॉम आर सम ऑफ द फेमस नेचुरल वंस वाइल एलएसडी एंड एमडीएमए आर द पॉपुलर सिंथेटिक साइकेडेलिक्स potential benefits of some psychedelics according to research has shown that psychedelics in low dosages have the potential to treat addiction and alcoholism for example kratom has been credited by some scientists as an effective treatment for opioid dependence while in 2019 United States Food and Drug Administration (FDA) also acknowledged the role of psilocybin therapy in the treatment of major depressive disorders. It has interesting to note in these studies. For example, psilocybin showed powers to reset brain activities on the changes of blood flow in some parts of the brain, which for a brain in deep depression could have effects as similar to the reboot of an entire system the idea of microdosing psychedelics such as psilocybin or as we call it the magic mushrooms lsd or even dmt has taken a lot of global attention recently Empirical evidence however extremely limited shows that low dosages of these hallucinogens may boost mood enhances and stimulate creativity alleviate symptoms of mood and anxiety disorders and can even improve one's cognitive flexibility micro dosages such as 250 to 350 mg have the potential to expand out of the box thinking and problem solving abilities potential side effects do exist such as experience of hallucinations which are terrifying or which might lead to confusion or paranoia even though research studies have shown less side effects of certain psychedelics as compared to antidepressants while treating people with depressive symptoms it is important to note that those studies were conducted with careful planning ingesting large dosages in unsupervised environments can lead to potentially harmful results because of the altered conscious state walking or driving or any task in public without supervision can lead to fatal consequences because of impaired motor control and hallucinations as discussed before since not much is known about the quality of tips the substances can lead to bad trips as well as where feelings of fear anxiety paranoia can alter the person's experiences especially when the person comes from a family history of mental illness some psychedelics can also trigger or lead to flashbacks which might turn into something potentially harmful that's it for today's episode stay tuned to jips infotainment for more informational videos thank you